What is the difference between 1920 by 1280 p? Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into the world of display resolutions, specifically 1920 by 1280 p. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of the key differences between these two. Let's get started. What does resolution even mean? Resolution refers to the number of distinct pixels in each dimension that can be displayed. It's typically written as width x height, with the units being in pixels. The more pixels you have, the more detailed the image can be. What is 1920 by 1200? 1920 by 1200 is a resolution where the screen width contains 1920 pixels and the height has 1200 pixels. It's a 16-10 aspect ratio. This means for every 16 units of width, there are 10 units of height. It's often found in some computer monitors and offers a bit more vertical space than 1080p, which can be especially useful for tasks like web browsing or document editing. What is 1080p? Now, 1080p, often termed, Full HD, has a resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels. Its aspect ratio is 16 to 9, making it slightly wider in appearance compared to 1920 by 1200. This resolution is very popular and is commonly found in televisions, computer monitors, and other types of displays. The P in 1080p stands for progressive scan, meaning all the lines of each frame are drawn in sequence. Main differences between 1920 by 1200 and 1080p. So, to recap, 1. Aspect ratio. 1920 by 1200 has an aspect ratio of 1610, while 1080p has an aspect ratio of 16 to 9. 2. Vertical pixels. 1920 by 1200 offers 120 more vertical pixels than 1080p, providing a bit more screen space at the top and bottom. 3. Usage. 1920 by 1200 is more common in certain computer monitors, especially those meant for professional use, while 1080p is widely adopted in televisions and a broad range of monitors. There you have it. While both 1920 by 1200 and 1080p offer similar horizontal resolutions, their aspect ratios and vertical resolutions differ. Each has its own advantages depending on the use case. We hope this video helped clarify the differences for you. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning.